Well, he may not have the gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bojaxinha, but man, has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Yoel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package, and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC Golden Glory. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, you. the next day, he was up to <laughs> 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo, the eraser, And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space, the striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to fix everything up inside the octagon. 
big off the rush land. Now he gets back to range. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Mago Medov circling towards the left now. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee with the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it. While he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. 25 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Costa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing these guys and only boxing them, you will be in trouble. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Hey. Costa gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Offer cut lands for him. Nurmagomedov's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Costa gets stung by that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That was a thudding leg kick. The right hook to the body. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Ooh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful punch. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling off process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Finds a home for the left hand there. Shot to the body now blocked by Costa. Nice punch there by Nermago Metal. Beautiful body kick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh. Gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. 20 seconds left. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Right, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High.
high number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice right hand. jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut. Back to the feet. Get right here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. Jared, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. And now he lands a combination. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Uppercut there, blocked by Nurmagomedov. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paolo the Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.